Philip, the apostle, was one of the twelve disciples of Jesus. He came from Bethsaida, which was the town of the apostles. Philip claimed that Jesus was the Messiah in John 1. Jesus asked Philip where they could buy bread to feed the 5,000, even though they didn't have enough money. Philip was a personal witness to Christ and an eyewitness of the risen Christ. So traditions are inconclusive on the story of Philip. One of the major difficulties we have when we study these traditions is that his martyrdom can be affiliated with Philip the Evangelist. However, later traditions place Philip in various cities around the world in missionary journeys. There's a tradition from Isidore of Seville, who lived from about 560 to 636 AD, in which Philip preaches in France. However, this position is not widely accepted by scholars. The earliest and most common traditions place Philip in Hierapolis, a city in modern-day Turkey. Papias, in the early 2nd century, mentions Philip in Hierapolis, among other texts that do as well. These sources help build the case that Philip did become a Christian missionary. In the book of Acts, Philip the Apostle is only mentioned in Acts 1.13, the Apostolic List, whereas Philip the Evangelist is mentioned in Acts 6, Acts 8, and Acts 21. However, Luke, the author of the book of Acts, makes a clear distinction between Philip the Apostle and Philip the Evangelist, making sure that people knew that they were different people. For example, in Acts 6, Luke makes sure that people know that Philip the Evangelist is part of the seven, not the twelve apostles. Regarding the early church writings, there is sometimes confusion between the two Philips from the early church fathers, and there are three general positions that scholars take regarding the traditions of Philip in early church writings. The first theory is that the two Philips were blended together in the early church. The second theory is that there were two distinct Philips who each had daughters. And the final theory is that there was actually only one Philip, and Philip the Apostle and Philip the Evangelist are actually the same person. The most likely theory, in my opinion, is that there were two distinct Philips. So, moving on, the earliest church fathers, such as Papias, Polycrates, and Eusebius, mentioned Philip the Apostle in Hierapolis, but they do not mention his martyrdom. The first account of the martyrdom of Philip comes from the Acts of Philips, written in around the 4th century. The content of the book comes from the 2nd and 3rd centuries and was probably written around Hierapolis. The story in the book is that Philip begins by departing from Galilee and he performs miracles, preaches the gospel, debates Jewish leaders, and then finally becomes a martyr for the Christian faith. However, there are some weird stories in the Acts of Philip, such as when he is traveling with his companions through the wilderness and a leper comes out and says that it has decided to spare a young goat. And then Philip prays for this leopard to receive a human heart. Then the leopard and the goat join them on their journey. So, it's a little strange at times in the Acts of Philip. So, the martyrdom account in the Acts of Philip talks about how Philip was hung up and pierced upside down on a tree. After that, there are some strange things written again that almost certainly did not happen, such as the earth opening up and Jesus coming back in the form of Philip to instruct Bartholio and Merriman and his companions on where to go next. However, later writers such as Isidore of Seville agree with the martyrdom account presented in the Acts of Philip. There are some counts that present a different case of the martyrdom of Philip, but these martyrdom accounts really come later and from an entirely different source. They're not really related at all. It seems that the Acts of Philips could have a historical core, though, because it mentioned people such as the Emperor Trajan, the High Priest Aeneas, and the Twelve. It also collaborates the missionary journeys of Peter to Rome, Thomas to India, and other apostles. Yet, we are still dealing here with a 4th century account about someone who lived in the 1st century, so it is entirely possible that this story was just fully a legend. So, to wrap things up here, it seems very fair to say, and I'm strong in my belief, that Philip the Apostle went to Hierapolis to spread the gospel. While his martyrdom comes from much later accounts, which doesn't show that he wasn't a martyr, but don't provide enough evidence to bring a strong conclusion that Philip was a martyr. So thanks for listening, guys. I'm Zach. This is Adherent Apologetics, and I'll see you next time.